Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now today's video, rebuilding the Pittsburgh Steelers here on Madden 20. If you guys end up enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new for more Madden 20 rebuilds. And then obviously once 2K comes out, going to be all over those doing rebuilds left and right like you've never seen before. So here we go, rebuilding the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, this is their lineup. This is their D offense and defense. See, I, I personally don't like looking at this screen because then I can't see the ages. And uh, it's kind of awkward when you can't see the ages because you're like, oh, this guy's good. But, oh, he's like 30 and he's going to end up regressing. So Big Ben obviously is the face of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, definitely going to be going to be moving on from him when he retires. Obviously, that's what happens when someone retires. So look for me to draft a quarterback uh, or trade for one. Who knows? Uh, running back wise, James Conner was set there. He did really well last year, surprised a lot of people, and I think he's going to be even better this year. Fullback, doesn't matter a whole lot. Wide receiver, we got Juju, we got James Washington, Dante Moncrief. I think James Washington is killing it in the preseason, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really too sure. Uh, Eli Rogers, De uh, oh wait, no, 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 no. It's Deontay Johnson, I think. I don't know. There's, there's, there's a receiver on the on the Steelers that's killing it in real life. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too sure who though. Uh, tight end, we got Vance McDonald. Going to be looking to move on from him. Uh, 29 years old, just going to end up regressing. Uh, our offensive line honestly isn't that bad. It's just they're going to start regressing. Uh, Alejandro Villanueva is going to start regressing. Ramon Foster is going to start regressing. So this team's old. Like, this team is old. And we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. Uh, so definitely need a right tackle. Yikes. But David DeCastro is probably going to be the last offensive lineman on the team, like, after this season. Uh, Stephon Tuitt. Gonna be keeping him, obviously. Cameron Hayward, I I don't know if I want to keep him. Really don't know. Uh, regression is gonna get hard. Gonna hit hard on him. Javon Hargrave, uh, we're fine there. Left outside linebacker, we got T.J. Watt. Gonna be one of the building blocks on this defense. Middle linebacker, Ryan Shazier. Now in real life, obviously he's not playing, uh, but this is Madden, so I can do what I want. Ryan Shazier is gonna be starting. <laughs> right outside linebacker, we got Bud Dupree. Oh, and then also a middle linebacker, we also have Devin Bush. Yeah, Devin Bush is going to be a key part of this defense, in my opinion. And I feel like uh, he's going to uh, progress very well. Now, Mark Barron, I know if you change him to free safety, he's, like, a lot better. So, it's either free safety or strong safety. So, I'm going to see which one you change him to and it works out. I'm not too sure. I know he played it at Alabama. I think I think it's free safety. So, we're, we're just going to move into free safety for the sake of the video. Uh, it's not like he was getting playing time at middle linebacker anyways. Uh, right outside linebacker, we got Bud Dupree, obviously, like I uh, already said. Cornerback, Joe Hayden, got to move on from him. Mike Hilton, uh, really going to be the only guy that, I be, that I'm keeping. Uh, same with Steven Nelson. Other than that, I'm not really too sure. Justin Lane, I might keep just to progress him a little bit. Uh, free safety, Mark Barrett, obviously, just moved in there. Strong safety, Terrell Emmons, going to be keeping him. And then kicker, we got Chris Boswell, so we're fine there. <laughs> So uh, this team's very old. I'm not too sure how to approach this. I don't know if, if I just want to leave it as is for the first year and then just see what happens or what. I'm not necessarily too sure. But what I do know is we have to get younger. And that starts really with the offensive line and the, really the whole team if, we're just, if I'm just being real. All right, trading Joe Hayden and Bud Dupree to the Arizona Cardinals for their first round of this year and fifth this year. Uh, Joe Hayden just really had to go. He was he was on an expiring deal anyway. And then Bud Dupree, uh, I just didn't want him. I'm mean, like, I know I mentioned him at the start when I was going through the team, but I don't know. I just I didn't really want Bud Dupree on the team. Uh, so now when we take a look at right outside linebacker, obviously we need one. We have Sutton Smith here. Like, no offense to you if you're if if you end up watching this video, bro. But like, uh, you know, not ideal when it comes to right outside linebacker. But we do get an extra first, which should be good, hopefully. All right, Ruben Foster. I totally forget his first name. Uh, Chicolo and our seventh this year for the Bengals. First round pick. An in-division trade. Usually doesn't happen a lot, but the Bengals are going to suck. So might as well try to capitalize on that as much as possible. If you guys can't tell what I like to do here, I like to get firsts. So in that way, I can maybe package them to get something good or just you know, just draft some good rookies. All right, Vance McDonald, Mason Rudolph, and Tyson Alualu for the Dolphins first this year. I mean, the Dolphins are trash. Let's just keep it real. Dolphins are not good. So therefore, I'm going to get their first round pick, and then they're going to suck. So I think I kind of know what direction I'm going in already. 
Uh, I just want picks, and I'm trading away my old guys. Like, that's really how it goes. All right, sending Vince Williams and Roosevelt Knicks to the Indianapolis Colts for Quentin Nelson and Joe Haig. Uh, Quentin Nelson going to be the left guard of the future for the team because we don't have a left guard. And if we do, he's not good. Do we have a left? I don't even know what our offensive line situation looks like. All I know is, okay, cool. So we didn't. Um, so we still need a right tackle, obviously. Might trade David DeCastro. I might just, like, honestly roll with him for this season and just see how much he regresses. But uh, Marquise Pouncey got to go, and so does Alejandro Villanueva. But those two definitely got to go. All right, Cameron Hayward and a six this year for the Vikings' first-round pick. The Vikings usually suck in simulation, so hopefully uh, they still suck in simulation. Uh, take a look at the team, though. Really, I have no idea. I have no idea what I want to do with my offensive line. Uh, Spawn Tuit going to be keeping him. Alejandro Villanueva got to go. But, like, I'm just taking a look at the cap hits. And it's not like there's a lot here that's that expensive. So, I honestly might just roll with what we have. Uh, if I can't find a trade for Alejandro Villanueva. But if I do trade, I'm going to want a first-round pick. Or a young player with potential. Tyler Boyd would low-key be nice. I don't think they take that, but that'd be nice. Yeah, so uh, let me just try to get a first from the Bills. I don't think they'll do it, but uh, I can negotiate. I'm a good... Oh, wow, that's a lot closer than I thought that'd be. All right, cool. So if I included a late five this year, that doesn't get it done, but you need a quarterback. I have Joshua Dobbs, so, like, you guys are so... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Imagine if they actually took that uh, corner wise. What do we even have at corner? Like, Artie Burns. Are you interested in Artie Burns? They're not interested in Artie Burns. Okay, wasting time here. Middle linebacker. I mean, if you want Tyler. No, okay, you don't. Okay, well, I'll ride a standstill right now because I don't know what to trade. Do you want Joe Haig by any chance? All right, all right. I'm just, I'm just gonna give him a four. I'm gonna give him Villanueva and a four for their one. Hopefully this goes through. Uh, it doesn't, but if I include a five, like a late five, it should work. And let's see if it does. Cool. All right, there you go. Getting the Bills first round pick. Honestly, might be done with trades to be completely honest. Uh, I really just am not too sure what to do. With the team, I want to blow it up, obviously, because they're old as hell, but not a whole... Yo, I have someone... <laughs> I'm starting at left tackle and right tackle. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go into free agency real quick. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, what do we even got here? Yo, I totally forgot I can try to use Eric Berry as trade bait. Totally forgot I could try to do that. Uh, we're going to sign Dez, because why the hell not? We need more wide receiver depth. I mean, the more the merrier, am I right? Uh, there's no offensive lineman here. So I think I'm just going to wait till like the first week of the season and then sign someone. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that right now. Simulate to the regular season and see who's there in free agency. Hopefully there's some good offensive linemen. You know what? Donald Penn's probably going to be there. Uh, so 81 offense, 71 defense. Not ideal, obviously. Uh, our defense, obviously, is not strong. Our offense... Kind of is strong. I say kind of. Uh, but a lot of you guys were giving me tips about like the specialist stuff. So I have uh, Deontay Johnson here at slot wide receiver. Uh, and I have Devin Bush in a sub linebacker. You guys told me like if I put like rookies there or like young guys there, like they'll get better. So I'm going to try to do that. Uh, defense. What do we even need on? We need a lot of stuff on defense. Um, but honestly, I might just roll with what we have. I want you playing right outside linebacker. We need a better left end. And that's really it. So right outside. Oh, 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 and another corner. Yikes. Our corner situation is not ideal whatsoever. Why is he not? Why is he not? <laughs> what the heck? I'm like, why is he not? Oh, wait. Wait, what? I am so confused right now. Are you hurt? Or... What? I, what? Okay, hold on. Generate best lineup. What in the hell? <laughs> what was that? Okay. That, oh my. That, okay. That was a mess. All right, so at the midseason point, we're actually 6-1. and one. Uh, I want to see who our only... Yo, the AFC North is competitive other than the Bengals, but that's not surprising because, there's the because I mean, they're the Bengals. But, yo, I mean, like, one game separating uh, first and second place because the two teams tied for second. So 
We only lost in week one to the Patriots, but like that's to be expected because they're the Patriots. So <laughs> 42 to 13 though isn't ideal. But I mean, when you take a look at like every other game, I mean, other than this Niners game, really no other game has been that close. Uh, so I feel good about our chances here. Uh, EA Sports still hasn't taken Andrew Luck out of the roster. So this Colts game is probably going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, we're going to go ahead, though, and negotiate with some players. Ryan Chazier, obviously got to bring him back. Uh, if he doesn't want to sign, that's okay. But hopefully... Okay, cool. Ryan Chazier signed. We need to bring Mike Mike Hilton. I said Mike twice. Nice. Uh, go ahead. Bring him back. Hopefully. Okay. He likes that. Javon Hargrave. We're going to bring him back. Other than that, I don't want to bring anybody else back. I want to see what's out there in free agency and in the draft. And wow, all three of them accept right off the bat. So we end up getting a first round bye. You love that. We beat the Ravens in week 17, 27 to 17. Devin Bush with four. He has four upgrade points. TJ Watt has two. Yo, let's go, man. De Devin Bush about to be the best, the best linebacker in the league. Uh, we finished 11 and five. Let's check out these standings for the entire league. See where we finished. So the Lions went 12 and four. Okay, the Colts with Andrew Luck go 11-5, but obviously they're not going to have Andrew Luck in real life. Uh, we got a first round bye because, okay, so the Colts and Texans tied, but the Colts won their division. I'm so confused on that. Someone needs to explain that because I'm gen like, why aren't the Texans ahead of us? Or is it because we won our division? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Stats on the year. Let's check out Big Ben. I mean, ugh, yikes. Wow, not good whatsoever. I mean, a good ratio, 28 touchdowns and six picks, but like 3,200 yards. Uh, Rushing-wise, James Conner, uh, 1,200 yards and nine touchdowns. Jalen Samuels, yo, with 10 touchdowns? Okay. Ben Roethlisberger with one and Benny Snell Jr. with two. Receiving-wise, Juju with three touchdowns. Xavier Grimble, our starting tight end with nine Dez with three, James Washington with five, Jalen Samuels with five, James Conner with two. The rest is there. Blocking, hopefully we did good with blocking. Donald Penn, I mean, you're not going to stay, so it doesn't really matter. He, yo, our right tackle, Matt Feeler, Feiler, I think it's, ah, who cares? He's, he's not even going to be on the team next year anyway. Uh, he actually did not that bad. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. And then Chukwuma Okafor actually did really well. And so did Fred Johnson. And so did Joe Haig. Joe Haig actually did well. Oh, my God. Uh, Defensive-wise, Devin Bush led our team in tackles by 14. Assisted, uh, I don't know why I'm showing assisted tackles. That doesn't really matter a whole lot. Uh, tackles for loss goes to Stephon Tewitt and quarterback sacks. TJ Watt with 14 and a half. Ryan Shazier with 7 and a half. Stephon Tewitt with 6 and a half. Devin Bush 5. And you can look at the rest right there. Interceptions. Let's see how we did. Two for Terrell Edmonds. And Steven Nelson and Mike Hilton and Mark Barron. One for Shazier, Sutton Smith, Artie Burns, and Jordan Dangerfield. Did we get any defensive touchdowns? No, we did not. All right, well, uh, let's see where we were. Oh, 27th in offense. Our defense must have carried then, right? Right? Yes, third in the league in defensive yards. That is really nice, which is surprising because I didn't think our defense was, was going to be that good. Uh, we were first in points allowed. Wow, that's insane. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the yearly awards. Let's see if... Jo jo okay, Josh Allen. Okay, 11-5. No Steelers there. Coach of the Year. Doesn't really matter. Offensive Player of the Year for the AFC. No Steelers there. Defensive Player of the Year. TJ Watt was so close. Almost beat out Clias Campbell. Devin Bush is there at 6. Offensive Rookie of the Year. There's Benny Snell Jr., Zach Gentry. And uh, I definitely thought I saw someone else. But Devin Bush is obviously going to be your Defensive Rookie of the Year, with Sutton Smith being there as well. Best quarterback, I don't really care, because Big Ben sucked this year. James Conner with a, with uh, fourth in the race, the standings, the whatever. Best wide receiver, no one there. Best offensive line, we got David Castro, we got Quentin Nelson, and we got Marquise Pouncey. Not surprising there. Best defensive lineman, nobody there. Best linebacker, TJ Watt, Ryan Shazier, Devin Bush, best defensive backs, no one there, and best kicker, and best pounder, yeah, yeah, no. So let's see who we are taking on here in the uh, divisional round. Hopefully it's, okay, it's the Bills. I was, I was going to say hopefully it's someone we can easily beat. I think we can easily beat the Bills. I don't know if the Steelers play the Bills this year. I really don't know. Like, I know it's crazy. I'm not. I Okay, they did. Uh, and we beat them by 14. So, if 
that is going to be a foreshadow of this one. We should win, right? We should. We lost by 14 to the Bills. To the damn Bills. We lost to the Bills. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you can't win them all. I wasn't expecting to win in the first year anyway. I wasn't even out expecting our defense to be good. All right, so this is kind of big. Uh, ben Roethlisberger retired. So regardless of of uh, what we do this offseason, we need to be looking for a new quarterback. Uh, obviously, Donald Penn's going to retire, but I don't really care because it's not like I really wanted him on the team anyway. So the free agency market for quarterbacks is never good. Really, it's just Jacoby Brissett, and that's it. But the good thing is we get Big Ben's contract off our books. Tyreek Hill and Kareem Hunt. I don't need Kareem Hunt. But Tyreek Hill would be a great addition to this offense. And yeah, Jacoby Brissett. So, ah, that sucks. Yannick Ngakwe rejects our offer. We get Jacoby Brissett. We don't get Tyreek Hill, but we get Eric Ebron. So we get two former Colts. I mean, that's kind of cool. Tyreek Hill. Man, see, the Bills always go above and beyond. And they just destroy everyone. Like, come on, 97 points? I had 95. I didn't even know. See, that's one thing I don't like. That is one thing I do not like about Madden whatsoever. You put in an offer, like, it should stay like that. Like, they had, like, 93, 92 points? Like, there's no reason why it should... Like, just, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. And Yannick and Gakwe got... The Bills, too? Man, mm, I don't like the Bills. I don't like the Bills at all. They beat us in the playoffs, and then they steal two of our players? All right, okay, okay. I see how it's got to be. Um, yeah, I offered a 13-point deal to Brian Bulaga. Um, so we definitely need a right tackle now. My negotiations. I offered a 14-point deal to Zach Brown. He hasn't accepted it yet. I don't know why. And then uh, Andy Yanovich, I tried to get him. We're not going to be getting him. So uh, 35. And the, the Bills are going to get Kareem Hunt, too. Defensive-wise, uh, Devin Bush has superstar development. Uh, I'm not sure if he got it or if he's had it. Uh... I think he might have had it, honestly. He might have had it, I think, because I'm not seeing it here. So he probably had it, and I'm just stupid. But he has superstar development. So that's TJ Watt got superstar X Factor. Wow, that is huge for us. That is huge. I mean, hell, he won linebacker of the year. So that's a huge addition for us. Um, I don't think anything else is different. Mark Barron, did he? He didn't. He didn't always have star development, did he? Oh no, cool. So we got that, but he's he, he's a 74 overall, so I'm going to try to see what I can get for him. All right, Sonny, Mark Barron, Ulysses Gilbert III, and Robert Spillane. Ryan, I think it's Robert. I don't know. For the Eagles' first-round pick, uh, the Eagles were the only team interested in Mark Barron, so might as well just get a first-round pick. All right, so here's who I added to my draft board. Uh, I went ahead, looked at everybody, and I didn't add a lot of people to my draft board because I don't, I, just, I, don't, I don't expect to be drafting a lot. Um, but for the guys that I did... You know, put on my draft board, obviously. Dwayne Sewell, he's supposed to be the number one guy in the class. Uh, Isaac Wiley looks pretty good. Oscar Lopez also looks pretty good. I know you're probably like, you don't need a middle linebacker. You got Ryan Chase here, and you got Devin Bush. I could move him to left outside linebacker or right outside. I don't need to move him to left because I got TJ Watt. But I can move him to right outside linebacker. Uh, Richie Fetter, this dude looks great, and I want him. I want him. That's as simple as that. I mean, we need a right end. So, I mean, that. I mean, if... If I needed a right end, I could go with Spencer McBean. Look at this dude's name. It's Spencer McBean. <laughs> it's such a fun name. Um, Jaden Mason, honestly, would not be bad as well. And then there's this fourth round uh, strong safety that's a first round talent, Bernie Parks. So I definitely am going to be taking him, uh, hopefully, if he doesn't get taken away from me. But those are just the guys that I really want to draft. I don't know exactly who... I'm going to draft where. It really, I think, just depends, obviously, on, you know, who gets taken ahead of me. I don't know if I want to trade. I don't know a lot of this stuff. But free agency recap. Let's go ahead and see where everyone went. Tyree Kill goes to the Bills. Kareem Hunt goes to the Bills. And Yannick Ngakwe goes to the Bills. And everyone goes to the Bills because the Bills have all the money in the world. Of course, those are the only three I'm seeing. And, and, and Zach Brown, of course. So... We're going to go now to the draft, and hopefully we get someone good. Okay, so we have the second pick, right? Who are the Broncos going to take? They take Dwayne Sewell. He was a 78, or is a 78 overall. Um, I want this left end, this right end, le left end, because we need a left end. I like him more than Ross Bramble, and I like him more 
then Spencer McBean. Uh, the finesse moves really puts it over the top for me, in my opinion. Uh, he's he's better than Ross Bramble, without a doubt. So there's no really comparison with Richie Fenner and Ross Bramble there. But with with Spencer McBean and Richie Fenner, um, I just I, I, I like him more. 29 reps to, I mean, strengths, obviously. 20, yo, 24 reps, that's not good, bro. We're going to go with Richie Fenner. We're going to go ahead, take him with the second pick here. He is ranked 7th in true talent, drafted him at number 2, 76 overall. Uh, check out his uh, rating. 79 finesse, 80 speed, 85 excel, 83 tackle, 79 play rec, 80, 83 strength, 83 excel, not excel, uh, agility, and 77 awareness. 68 power move, 74 block shed, you know, could be better, obviously. 75 pursuit, 78 hit power. All right, you know, I'll take it. We needed a defensive end, and we got one. Oscar Lopez goes three to the Raiders. The Okay, so Ross Bramble was a 74, so Richie Fenner's better than him. Aaron Lidge goes at number five to the Rams. I was going to get their pick, but I was like, no, they're going to be good anyway. Uh, okay, so we, so we have seven and nine, and then we don't pick for a while. So I'm going to see what's here, though with the tr oh my god what are these trades these are so bad these are okay so i'm not trading down i just got to find someone to take but it really just i don't know exactly who to take um i mean Jaden mason could be an option here so looking at my draft board obviously we got chandler hopkins here i don't think i'm gonna go with him because we have jacoby and i, I think we're gonna be fine there uh moses beckham we could take him even though I don't think we need a left guard, but we need just a right tackle and a left tackle. So I think I could go with him. Only 28 reps, though. Not ideal. But if we look at Jaden Mason, could take him. Uh, B plus awareness, B zone, B minus play rec. I don't know what his man is, though. That's not ideal there. But there's this guy all the way down here, Jordan Farley. A minus deep route, B catching, and B release. He's projected to be an early third. But his talent is an early first. And when you take a look at the wide receivers that I've scouted, like, where's the catching? Like, where's, like, Miles Muldrow has a B catching. So does Thurman Randall. But, like, A minus deep route, though. Like, I know it could be a huge reach, but, like, I like his top three skills. I'm going to take him. I don't care. Jordan Farley, 76 overall, fifth and true value. Took him at seven. There we go. Welcome to the team, Jordan Farley. 93 speed, 95 excel, 77 catching, 84 deep route, 73 short and mid, 75 catch and traffic, 72 spec, 77 release, 92 agility, 90 jumping, 76 ball carrier vision, 81 elusiveness. Okay, I'm not I'm not going through all that. I'm not going through all that. Uh, now let's go to our next pick, which the Redskins take Wade Herbert. I wasn't even going to take a tight end, so... <laughs> And with the ninth pick, I'm going to go ahead and take Maxwell Johnson, A minus pass block and pass block finesse and B plus pass block power. Uh, I want to be throwing the ball. So hopefully he can be good for us. 77 overall. Se only normal development. No. Oh, man. He's second in true talent. And he has normal development, bro. That sucks. 86 strength, 85 pass block. 81 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse, 72 run, oh, his run, oh, yeah, run block, definitely got to work on that. 77 lead block, 80 impact blocking, 76 awareness, 73 speed, 78 excel, 73 agility. All right, man, that sucks. I'm not too sure who to take. I think I'm going to go with Skylar Blanton here, and hopefully he is pretty good. 76 overall, fourth and true value, talent, whatever, took him at 15. Uh, his stats, 89 strength, 78 block shed, 83 finesse, 76 tackle, 78 play rec, 78 speed, 80 excel, 79 hit power, 81 agility, 78 pursuit. All right, so a really good draft so far. Now we don't pick till 26. I hope the guy I want next doesn't get taken. Ty Sheffield, Sheffield, yikes, 65 overall. Okay, so now we're getting to like the really trash overalls, which is good, which means that they're not going to take the player I want, hopefully. If they take the player I want, I'm going to be mad. Uh, he's projected to be a fourth round pick. Sidney Foster, wow, 76 overall. Okay. Uh, Curtis Harris, 68 overall. Jalen Dawson, I was thinking about taking him, 74 overall. Nate Barker, and now we are on to my pick. All right, so this dude was projected, is well, is projected to be a fourth round pick. I don't care. I'm taking him. Bernie Parks, he, he's, he's the best strong safety 
and he has good attributes. So I'm going to take him anyway. 73 overall, 16th in true value. Took him at 26. He has normal development. Hey, he went to Pittsburgh, so he, he gets to stay in the state. Nice. 70 speed, 77 zone, 80 pursuit, 86 excel, 77 hit power, 73 awareness, 71 catching. There you go. Now we have what? A pick literally next? Okay. Oh, boy. Who do I even take now? I don't even know who to take. I could take one of these uh, linebackers, but Tyrus Haskins. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on Tyrus Haskins. It's already the late. You know what? Late first round. He's projected to be early second. Who cares? 69 overall. It's pretty nice. 75 tackle, 80 speed, 80 excel, 79 finesse, 75 pursuit, 71 block shed, 75 strength, 70 awareness, 79 agility. Did we even need an outside linebacker? Not too sure, but I took one anyway. Marquise Pouncey isn't going to live forever. 28th in true value. Took him at 30. 70 overall. 80 strength. 79 run block. 75 pass block. 77 run block power. 78 pass block power. Finesse isn't that good. But 78 lead block. 77 impact blocking. And 78 excel. So that's going to do it for the first round. I actually know I have the 30th pick. Oh, I, I just had the 30th pick. I'm stupid. But I could trade Ryan Shazier if this guy's good. But 5'11 as a middle linebacker? Like, I'm not smart. But, like, I don't think that's a that that's an ideal height. But I'm going to take him anyway, because why not? <laughs> 68 overall, 58 in true value, took him at 58. 84 speed, 83 tackle, 81 hit power, 82 pursuit, 87 excel. Yo, 78 strength, 77 agility. Okay, okay. Uh, now we have a fifth round pick next, so I'm just going to simulate to the end of the draft, because I don't really care about any of the other draft picks. So with our fifth round pick, let's see who we ended up taking. We took Jordan Kramer. I was actually like, <laughs> I remember looking at him. That's funny. He's a 59 overall. Yikes. You're not making the team, bro. All right, so let's check out how we actually did in the grand scheme of things. Uh, so Dwayne Sowell was a 78 overall, top in the class it looks like. Yeah, tied with LaMichael Kilroy. Uh, but Maxwell Johnson, third in the class. That's nice, even though I it already showed in the draft what they were in true talent. So that's awkward. But we drafted... Um, <laughs> Okay, so we drafted the third, fourth, and fifth best players in the class. And the sixth. No, seventh. Um, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Bernie Parks, 73. Jalen Dawson. Uh, there was someone that I wanted to check up on, but I don't even remember, remember what his name is. So I'm just going to leave it as is. We're going to simulate now to the preseason. And by that, I mean we're going to advance to the next week and see what our offensive defense is looking like right now. 85 offense, 75 defense. Let's see what we got. So Jordan Farley, we don't know what his uh, dev is yet, but hopefully it's good. James Washington, Ryan Switzer. Okay, you know what? Honestly, not that bad of an offensive line. I just need a left tackle. That's all I need, and I'll be fine. Defensive-wise, here we go. So we got Javon Hargrave here, but Blanton is right up his tail. That sounded weird to say. Uh, Stephon Tewitt and... Richie Fenner? R yeah, Richie Fenner. The, they are our ends. Mike Hilton and Steven Nelson. I'm going Steven. Hey, let's go. I'm so proud of my football knowledge right now. Uh, Tremont Edmonds and Marcus Allen should be. Yeah, okay. So we need we need a better free safety like ASAP. I'm going to write that on my sticky note because if I don't, I'll forget it. <laughs> um, and we need a left outside linebacker, which I thought I drafted a linebacker or am i just stupid am i stupid and we didn't draft a linebacker i swear i drafted one okay i'm just gonna generate the best lineup because i swear i drafted one okay we did thank god i was about to say like i know i drafted one and it's tyrus haskins okay thank god i was about to like lose my mind so i know i definitely just gave up too much for jesse bates but i needed a free safety so I kind of just don't care. And like, those picks are going to be at the end of the draft anyway. So we get Jesse Bates to be our new free safety. At the midseason point, we are four and three. Not what I wanted to see at all. Uh, but hey, at least we're not three and four. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, players ready to negotiate. Juju's ready to negotiate. Obviously, we got to throw him the bag because... Oh, and TJ Watt and James Conner. I mean, really, these are the only three I want back. So... I mean, obviously, you gotta gotta give them their money. Juju, please come back. Thank God. Uh, TJ Watt, please, please just like this offer. Please don't want any more. Oh, of course he wants more. And then James Conner, we're gonna obviously be signing him back. Please like this offer as well. And oh my God, they both only like the length of the contract. Of course they do. 
Uh, let's check out the player stats and see how we're doing. How Jacoby Brissett's doing. Hopefully he's doing well. Not doing well whatsoever. I'm going to change the playbook, though. 27th in offense, not good. 7th in defense, though. Okay, I like that. What's our uh, points scored? 8th. Okay, that's not awful. And then our points allowed is 4th. That is good. So I am going to change our playbook just to see what happens. And, I mean, I mean, the Saints playbook is usually good. So might as well go ahead and use the Saints playbook. And I might as well change the scheme. Might as well change the scheme to something that we're good at. 79 is what we are good at. That is the vertical power run. And then I think that's fine. The sky is 3-4. I'm just going to run what we had, the base 3-4. The vertical power run. Who's got the vertical power run? Oh, I know. New Orleans does because their playbook's OP, I swear. Uh, we're just going to do that. Even though we don't run a multiple power run, we run vertical. I don't care. We're going to do it. We're going to upgrade some players. And hopefully we can make the playoffs and win the division. I didn't even check the standings in the division. So we're second. The Bengals are 5-2. and two. Same with the Ravens. We're 4-3. and three. Browns are 4-4. Four and four. But good thing is uh, we just had our bye. So hopefully we are a little bit uh, rejuvenized. Jordan Farley is hey he has two skill point upgrades okay all right cool all right let's do that auto upgrade let's go to the end of the year so we did not make the playoffs and i traded my first pick of course i did my first round pick we went six and ten i'm a dummy i'm so stupid all right six and ten we were four and three we literally went two and seven in to end the year are you serious oh my god are you real oh my god Oh, boys, listen, man, I don't know what else I got to do with this team. Hopefully, you know what, it's probably, it's, pro it's probably, probably my fault, all right. Uh, 22nd in offensive yards, that's not good. 29th in defense, what happened to our defense? The, what happened to our defense? Are you kidding me? Our defense just shit the bed, and there's no injury, so it's not like anyone got hurt. Um, okay. Let's send to the Super Bowl. Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, check out player stats, though. Man, that's really depressing. Uh, 3,900 yards for Jacoby Brissett. 30 touchdowns, 9 picks. Rushing-wise, James Conner, kind of an off year. 7 touchdowns for him. 3 for Jalen Samuels. 2 for Jacoby Brissett. 1 for Josh Dobbs. Receiving, Juju with a 1,000-yard season with 8 touchdowns. Eric Ebron with 8. James Washington with 2. Jordan Farley with 6 touchdowns. Jalen Samuels with 4. Ryan Switzer, 2. Zach Gentry, one blocking. All right. So, Chad, who the hell's Chad Wheeler? Was he starting for us? And I'm just like really stupid. I thought I thought we had Shikwuma Okorafor. I thought we had him starting for us. That's David DeCastro only played three a hundred and two. What, dude? What happened? Okay. Devin Bush led our team in tackles. Tackles for loss. He also led the team. Uh, quarterback sacks. Eight and a half for TJ Watt. Seven and a half for Richie Fenner. Four and a half for Stephon Suet. Three for Devin Bush and Skylar Blanton. Two and a half for Ryan Chazier and Tyrus Haskins. One and a half for Justin Lane. One for Sutton Smith. Half for those two. And interceptions. Terrell Emmons with three. Justin Lane, two. Steven Nelson, one. Devin Bush, one. Ryan Chazier, one. Mike Hilton, one. Did we have any touchdowns? We had one. One from Justin Lane. Yo, I'm like kind of mad. What happened to our, like, what happened to our team? Because I thought David DeCastro was supposed to be playing. Or am I just, ri he wasn't, why was, oh my, mm, that frustrates me a lot. Um, I'm going to go and check out <laughs> the awards. That frustrates me. That actually really frustrates me. All right, so. Awards, yearly awards, MVP. Obviously, no one's going to be there. Andrew Luck's there. Rip Andrew Luck. He didn't die, but every Colts fan did. Defensive player of the year. There's Devin Bush. No one else there. Offensive rookie of the year goes to Jordan Farley. All right. Uh, defensive rookie of the year. There's Richie Fenner and Skylar Blanton and Tyrus Haskins. Best quarterback. He's not going to. Hey, Jacoby Brissett with 10. Okay. Best running back. No one there. Best wide receiver. No one, I mean, Juju at 10, best offensive lineman, David Castro. That's, man, the best defensive line. Yo, this was a disappointment of a season. Not even going to lie. Devin Bush is there for best line, but TJ Watt wasn't even there. Terrell Edmonds there, best kicker. Yo, that's kind of mad. Not, that's, what? 
I'm kind of mad. Um, let's upgrade the players, though. And let's see. Yo, three for Jordan Farley, two for Devin Bush, one for Quentin Nelson, one for Juju. We love all of those. I'm going to see what these guys' uh, developments are because I'm curious. Uh, I don't think there were any on the offensive line that I had. I'm pretty sure there were none there. But uh, where's Jordan? Okay, so Jordan Farley had uh, star development. Okay, I like that a lot. At least I'm pretty sure he did, unless like, oh, well, obviously he did. I'm stupid because he has he had hidden. I'm stupid. Defense wise, what do we get? Yo, Richie Fenner had X Factor. Yo, that's insane. Richie Fenner had X Factor. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we got <laughs> Richie Fenner now has X Factor. You know, no big deal. Uh, who else? Blanton has star. I think that was it for the hidden ones, unless I'm just like really crazy and I'm missing something. All right, so Marquise Pounce, he's down to an 83. I'm gonna look to trade him right now uh, and just hopefully get a better offensive lineman for him. Actually a four, they don't even have a four. So just give me a five, that'll work. There we go, that trade goes down. I need to I need to move positions. So then that way what happened last season doesn't happen again. So we don't get Brandon Brooks. I was gonna get him, move him to left tackle. That sucks, we get a punter and a kicker. Oh, we don't get a bookum. Are you kidding me? We get Johnny Smith and Eli Apple. I did. I didn't really want Eli Apple. I just needed a corner. <laughs> uh, we don't get hit. Man, that sucks. I was gonna move him to left outside linebacker. Okay. Um, this sucks now. Why does nobody ever want to sign with me? Like, like I literally offered 98 and it was the top. That's so annoying. I offered. I offered 99 and he didn't sign. Yo, that's. Ah, I'm mad now. Okay. Get Deion Dawkins, get John Ross, get Ty Juan. I was going to say Tyrod Taylor. That's really... <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyways, so now we should be good. Deion Dawkins is going to be there. David Castro. Uh, he's at left tackle now. I'll just move him to right tackle. And then our offensive line is fine. Finally. Like, that's like my biggest problem with these rebuilds, my offensive line is never good. I swear until like the third season. It takes it takes a while for my offensive line to get good, but we're fine now with our offense. There's no complaints about it. All right, PJ Gross. He's projected to be a mid fifth, but I am gonna take him with my mid third. And hopefully he's really good. 69 overall, that's pretty nice. All right, hopefully I can trade him for something good. I'm not, I'm not gonna run through the stats, but you guys can see him right there. Um. Now we go on to the fourth round, and hopefully there's someone good there. I mean, I tried to get a right outside linebacker, not a left outside linebacker, because I'm stupid, and was saying, I need a left outside linebacker when TJ Watt plays that position. Uh, let's go to scout it. Let's see who's all here. Jameson Gilmore, Alan Gilmore. They're not related. You know what? For the sake of this video, they are, they are related. That doesn't even matter at all. I don't know why I said that. I'm stupid. Um... Kelvin Melvin. Oh, it's Kevin Melvin. Oh, that's such a oh, that's such a disappointment. I thought it was Kelvin Melvin. I was like, yo, that's a lit name. Uh, Matt McGriff. I dude, I don't even know what to take here. I really don't. So I'm gonna go with Matt McGriff, because honestly, it doesn't really matter at this point. Hey, he's 20 in true town. Take him at 102. Probably could have got him a lot later, but alright, I signed an eco archery. So we got Danigo Achi for Von Miller also included John Ross in there. I mean, like, I probably wasn't even going to use him anyway. Now, did I really need to go out and trade for Von Miller? Not really, but I'm just going to see. All right, I'm just, I'm just going to see something, okay? Von Miller for... Oh, man, they're not even interested in him. I, ah, man, I was going to do Von Miller for Khalil Mack and see if that worked. <laughs> Dang it, that sucks. I mean, they need a right end. So like, okay, let me do something here. Let me do something. Let me change him to right end. Let's see if they're interested then. So Von Miller at right end is a 92 overall. Gonna go ahead, trade him for Khalil Mack. And would you look at that? They are interested in him. And that almost went through. And the good thing is I have draft picks now that I can sweeten the pot with. A three and a four, Von Miller for Khalil Mack. Gets it done. Welcome Khalil Mack to the gold and black it sounds better if it's silver and black shout out to bangle <laughs> but hey we got khalil mack 
So now our linebacker, linebacking core is fine. Linebacker core. <laughs> I, I don't even know if that's the, uh, you, you, okay, you know what. We're just gonna go ahead, generate the best lineup. Let's see where they put him. Okay, TJ Watt at right outside linebacker, Cleo Mack at left outside linebacker. We are set now on defense. I would like a better corner though. So at the midseason point, we just tied with the Packers. It's our bye week right now. And we're 4-3-1. and one. Not what I... Why is the AFC North so competitive, man? All right. Jacoby Brissett, 1,800 yards, 16 TDs. Fifth in the league in passing touchdowns. 29th in defense. Why is our defense so trash now? That's my question. Why is our defense just so awful now? Maybe it's... Maybe, you know what? I'll change. I'll change playbooks. I'll change playbooks. I'll change the Bengals playbook because I did that in my Broncos rebuild and we were a pretty good defensive team. So we're going to switch to the Bengals. Uh, we're going to change the Bengals defensive playbook and hopefully that changes things because obviously the Mike, because obviously the, the, the Mike Tomlin one's not getting it done. So we're going to go ahead, go to Zach Taylor and oh, but he runs a 4 3. Ah, that's so frustrating. All right, all right, all right. Let's go with Matt Nagy, 3 4. Why not? And, uh,. Let's try to resign. Actually, let me see how many people I'm going to have to resign. 10 players ready to negotiate their contracts. How many of these are like huge? Oh, boy. I mean, not as much as I thought. So I'm going to leave it right now. I mean, we're not going to have a whole lot of cap. I'm going to leave it as it is right now. If we make the playoffs, then maybe it's the final. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go to the playoffs. Hopefully we're in it. And we actually made the playoffs. 10-5. The 6 in 10 Chiefs? What? A 6 in 10 team made the playoffs. Are you serious? How bad is the AFC West? What? How bad is the AFC West? Hold on. So, you know, you got you got 14 and 2, 12 3 and 1, 12 and 4, 11 and 5, 11 and 5, 10 5 and 1, 10 6, 10 and 6, 9 6 and 1, 9 and 7, 9 and 7, 8 6 and 2. And then you got 6 and 10. How in the world is a division this bad? And they get a home game. They get a home playoff game too. And we're probably going to lose. They gave up more points than they scored. Are you kidding me? Bro, what in the hell? <laughs> like, what? I mean, like, hey, we go 10-5-1, second in the division. Like, that's cool and all. We got to go on the road to face a 6-10 and 10 Chiefs team. Okay, well, Jacoby Brissett went off. 40 passing touchdowns, 3,700 passing yards, 9th in defensive yards, so the change to the Bengals playbook worked. 6th uh, in points scored. Juju. Oh, Ebron. Okay, I thought Juju was going to be there. All right, let's check out player stats. See how we did on the season. Jacoby Brissett, 40 touchdowns, 8 picks, 3,700 yards, almost 3,800. Rushing-wise, James Conner, almost 1,300. Uh, 11 rushing touchdowns, 7 for Jalen Samuels, 1 for Eric Ebron, probably a fullback. Uh, Receiving-wise, Eric Ebron actually led our team in receiving, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Juju led our team in touchdowns, though, with 9. Ebron with 5. Jordan Farley with 4. James Washington with 4. Jalen Samuels with 7. Tywan Taylor with 3. James Conner, 3. John U. Smith, 4. Zach Gentry, <laughs> 1. Blocking-wise, okay. You know what? Not bad for Deion Dawkins. Not bad. Ali Marpet, not bad. Shout out to Matt McGriff. He didn't give up a sack in 92 downs played. And I think that's it. Am I, like, missing? I swear we had another one. Oh, I'm just thinking to David DeCastro, and I just literally went right over him. Defensive-wise, Devin Bush led our team in tackles by 16. Mike Hilton was second. Uh, tackles for loss. Khalil Mack with 11 sacks, uh, Devin Bush with seven, Skylar Blanton with seven, Richie Fenner with seven, TJ Watt with seven, Khalil Mack with six and a half, Stefan two at five and a half, Ryan Shazier with three, Sutton Smith one, Mike Hilton one, and Austin Johnson one. Interceptions on the season, Mike Hilton and Jesse Bates the third both had two, everyone else had one and any touchdowns, no, not safeties, but while we're at it. Hey, Richie Fenner had a safety, nice. Uh, defensive touchdowns, do we have any? No, we do not. Uh, there's something I was going to check. Oh, yeah. I was going to check and see how many sacks we got and, like, how that compares to everybody because I swear that's, like, a lot of sacks. That's uh, that's what she said. Uh, so, we were tied for number one in the league for sacks. That is nice. Fumbles, we were number one there. Okay. Okay. Points allowed. Hey, like, we were just barely behind some of these teams. So, I feel confident about our chances. Let's go to the awards. Please tell me Jacoby won something. That'd be nice if you he didn't. Marcus Mariota, really? 7-9? Really? Really? Okay. Coach of the year. I'm not even on here. 
Mike Tomlin. There we go. AFC Player of the Year goes to Marcus Mariota. No Steelers there except for Jacoby Brissett at number 10. Defensive Player of the Year, Devin Bush right there. Uh, no Khalil Mack. Okay, Offensive Rookie of the Year. We don't have an Offensive Rookie. Defensive Rookie. We don't have a Defensive Rookie. Shout out the Bengals. I gave you, I gave you one of them. So whichever one that is, I gave you one of them. So enjoy it. Best quarterback, there's Jacoby Brissett at number two. Best running back, James Conner at three. Best wide receiver, no one there. Best offensive line, yo. Dave DeCastro, Quentin Nelson, Ali Marpet, one, two, and three. Best defensive lineman, no one there. Best linebacker, Devin Bush wins it. Not a surprise there. Khalil Mack at number 10. Best defensive back, no one there. Best kicker, where is he at? Where is he at? Hey, there he is, Greg Zerline. And that is it. So there we go uh, for the awards and all of that fun stuff. I'm going to do the thing I did last time where I, if you guys don't know what I did last time, I'm going to go in. First of all, Khalil Mack has one skill point, which is crazy because he's already a 99. Where is Jordan Farley? Where's R Richie Fenner only got one. Like, that's just, like, maybe it's like, I I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? So, we're going to go in now to the wild card round. I'm going to play the full game, but I'm not actually going to play the full game. I'm just going to, like, simulate the whole game. And then if I have to hop in, then I will. There are 74 overall. We're in 82. There's no reason why they should be competing with us in this game. We should just demolish them. So we will be kicking the ball off to start this game. Hopefully, it's not even a contest. Hopefully, man, we can just destroy them, like I literally just said. And, of course, they go down, score a touchdown, but so do we. They go down, score another touchdown, and we get 10. Can we get, uh, hey, 17? Okay, uh, 20 to 17. Uh, can we score again? That'd be nice. 20 to 20. 23 to 20, 27, 23, 34, 23. Oh, yo, it's getting close, guys. It's getting close. Uh, let's see. Third and 13, knocked away. Okay. So they got to go down the field, score a touchdown, and a two point conversion. And oh my God. Okay. So we're going to run this two minute drill. Let's do it, guys. Let's do this. All we need is a field goal. That's all I have to remember is I need uh, Jacoby's wearing seven. That's funny. On the post or Ebron, I'm not too sure. It really just depends on who's open. I'm going to chuck it. That's a pick. That's a pick, isn't it? Oh, pick out. Oh, no, Ebron. What? Dude, Ebron, you had it. Oh, my God. Ebron had that ball. Okay, so now I got to play defense, and I got to try to pin him. So hopefully I do just that. That's probably way too weak of a kick. But I don't care. Really don't care. Uh, okay, that's going to backspin. And we're going to get it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So they're at the 13. Everything's fine. I don't know why it's 34 all. We should be winning by a lot. Let's run some man. Probably not smart to run man, but I'm going to run man anyway. Uh, Khalil Mack. Come on, bud. I need you to get... Oh, yes. Oh, oh, get him, get him. There we go. Call a timeout, too, while we're at it. I really shouldn't have called that other timeout. But it's okay. It's all right. Devin Bush in coverage. Hopefully we can get a pick. If we get a pick, oh my God. That would be so crazy. But I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Khalil Mack. Look at him with the bat down. It is third and 12. They're probably going to run the ball now. Which means that we are going to get the ball back. See, it says chew clock. But like, I feel like they're going to pass it. No, they're going to run it. They're going to run it. Stop him, please. Thank you. And going to call that timeout now. So we can still, like, realistically win this game. They're going to punt it. They have the wind against them. So it's not going to be as powerful of a punt. And we should have a legit chance at winning this. All right, who's returning this? I don't even know who this is. But we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. Give him a juke. Okay. All right, we're at the 48. Please don't ice me. Please. Oh, did I just miss that? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Woo! Thank goodness, man. We win the game 37 to 34. What a roller coaster of emotions there. Thought we were going to win it. And then I was like, ah, we're going to go to overtime. And then now we're winning it. Obviously, 37 34. Let's go on now to the, to the division round. Hopefully, we actually play a team that has a winning record. And it's a divisional matchup here in the divisional round of the playoffs. <laughs> See what I did there? Because, like, the Browns and the Steelers are in, like, the same division. So, I was like, it's a bit. Yeah. All right. Jacoby Brissett and Khalil Mack are your offensive and defensive players of the week. I mean, really makes sense. Three sacks, five tackles for Khalil Mack. Jacoby Brissett, great game for him. Now we're taking on the Browns. Hopefully, we 
win. That would be nice. We're in Cleveland, which is never a fun place to be. I'm just kidding. I've 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 been to Cleveland twice. Okay. Oh, they're wearing all orange. Oh God, that's disgusting. Listen, I've been to Cleveland twice. It's not as bad as people say it is. Okay. It's not as bad as people say it is, even though they say it's the mistake by the lake. Okay. But I can see why LeBron left because it's kind of sad. They're not gonna lie. Once again, we will be kicking the ball off to start this game. And uh, I'm just going to hope for the best. Hopefully we don't get blown out. That would be... You know what? That's my goal. I just don't want to get blown out. We're up 7-3, to three, though. That's nice. We got a turnover. 14-3. to three. Now it would be nice if we could score again. It's looking like we're going to do so. 17-3. to three. And can we make it more? Yes. It's one. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. GG, boys. It is over. So we're going on to the AFC Championship game. Barring some crazy comeback from the Browns. But that's not going to happen as... We win by 20, 37 to 17 as we're going to the AC Championship game. I'm pretty sure I just said that. Jacoby Brissett, 351, three touchdowns, and no picks. Yo, nice. Rushing-wise, uh, I'm going to show you the stats because I didn't, like, last game. And so I'm going to show you them now. James Conner, 18 attempts for 68 yards. Receiving-wise, James Washington, 99 yards. Jordan Farley, uh, 56 yards. James Washington, Taiwan Taylor, Zach Gentry with a touchdown. Blocking. Gave up two sacks on the day. Three sacks. How many? I don't really care. Devin Bush. Uh, Ryan Shazier had a pick. Nice. Okay. I mean, there's not really much I can show you with stats. But we just really d dominated them Dominated them from the start. And now we're out of the AC Championship game. Either facing the Bills or the Patriots. I hope it's the Bills. I hope it's the Bills. I want to get my revenge on the Bills for beating me in Season 1. And for stealing my damn players. For stealing Tyreek Hill. And stealing Yannick Ngakwe. New ability unlocked for Richie Fenner. That's what I'm talking about. What is his new ability? Unfakeable and edge threat. And fear monger. Okay. And now we got upgrade players too. You know, we just we just we just have so much. We have we have so many things happening right now. And it's the Bills. Hey, I wanted it, okay? So I'ma get it. TJ Watt is your defensive AFC player AFC defensive player of the week. Ah, eh, whatever. Four tackles, two sacks, Jacoby be set, 351, three touchdowns, 29 for 38. Four sacks, three carries, seven rushes. Oh boy, if we lose to the Bills, I'm going to be so upset. Jesse Bates, go ahead, upgrade him. I'm literally going to be so upset if, if if I lose to the Bills. Like, out of all the teams, like, it just has to... Like, we're a better overall than them. They have Kareem Hunt. And I'm pretty sure they have Tyreek Hill. If they don't, then I'm just crazy. So let's go on now. AFC Championship game. Let's go to Buffalo, and hopefully we never have to go back. Oh, and we're in the snow. Here we go, man. We're kicking off again. To start off the game, this should be a good one. And can we stop? The, hey, you know what? Three points on their first possession. I'll take that. Seven to ten. Let's not go down by more than ten. And we're probably going to end up going down by, oh boy, 24-7. I don't like where this is going. I'm going to make sure we score. Oh, whoa, whoa, Jacoby. Whoa, did you just see Jacoby percent? What the heck? His head was out of his helmet. We have two turnovers. Well, that's not going to help if we have two turnovers. Uh, there we go, Ebron, uh, never mind, shout out whoever that, I really don't know who that is, that's kind of embarrassing that I don't know who that is, I could just do this and go there, who is that, is that, that's Matt Milano, okay, uh, let's go, Samuels, on the halfback screen, keep going, no, way to hold your block, man, I could have kept going, one touchdown, two picks for Jacoby, not ideal whatsoever, man, uh, let's go with the trail shake, like the Harlem Shake, except it's not. We have no... All right, all right, all right. Empty backfield. Might want to hit Juju one-on-one. -on -one. Might want to hit... Oh, I thought he was running a streak! I thought he was running a streak! I got bamboozled. I've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat-out deceived. Okay, that's my fault, though. That's my fault. <laughs> End of the game now. Uh, can we score, please? Can we please score? 31 to 7, 34 7. We're really not going to score. Can we just. Okay, cool. 14. Don't let them score again. Okay, so we can come back, guys. I'm just kidding. Damn it, man. You know what? I'll go to, I'll go to another year. I'll go to another season. All right, David DeCastro didn't want to sign, but I franchise tagged him anyway. Re signed Quentin Nelson and Jesse Bates and James Washington and Terrell Edmonds. James Washington and Terrell Edmonds are now. Up to star development. So that's like pretty cool. And oh cool, the Bills lost to the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. I mean, I mean Bills fans are used to that, so you know, it's okay. Uh let's check out the see if anybody came up in development, and I don't 
think so, but I could be mistaken. I'm not seeing any here. Mike Hilton always had star development, if I'm correct. Yes, he always did. And I'm going to go ahead and check. Yeah, I mean, I wish Devin Bush would get up to Superstar X Factor. That would make our defense even better. Let's check out the regression, though. And hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Okay, cool. It's not anything too groundbreaking. We should be fine. Khalil Mack went down four overalls. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? It's the last season anyway, so we're going all in. You know what? You can never have too many wide receivers. Mike Barlow, 74 overall, 15th in true talent. Took him at 29. Hidden development. You know what? Let's go ahead and take him. Who cares? And then I'm going to go and simulate the rest of the draft. Sean Powell is a 72 overall, 29th true talent. Took him at 61. Normal dev. Not going to show the stats because it's not like it matters a whole lot. Simulate the end of the draft, and I'll see you guys at the midseason point probably. At the midseason point, we are 5-2, and two, sitting on top of the AFC North behind the Bengals, Browns, and Ravens. No, not behind. Ahead of the Bengals, Browns, and Ravens tied for second. Um, I don't really care about the players that need to negotiate, but I want to see the upgraded players. Mike Barlow has two skill points available. Um, is it possible for me to see? Yo, he has superstar development. Yo, too bad. This is the last year, though. He would be freaking a beast. He'd, he'd be a beast. We did not win our division. Are you serious? We tied with the Browns, who also went 11 and 5. We probably split with them or just lost one. Man, that's stupid. So we lose by two and we lose by eight. Oh my God. They're literally, those are the only two blemishes on our schedule, other than the. I don't like the Bills. Chargers, doesn't really matter. The Ravens, we lost them by seven. Man, we would have a home playoff game right now. Now we got to face Andrew Luck, who's not even in the league right now, but we got to face him anyway. <sighs> okay, stats on the season. Jacoby Brissett, not good passing yards-wise, but 41 touchdowns to 14 picks. Rushing-wise, James Conner, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Benny Snell Jr. with eight. Johnny Smith with one. Receiving, Juju with 960. Ebron with 835. Jordan Farley, 771. And Mike Barlow, 669. Nice. 13 receiving touchdowns for the rookie out of South Carolina. Uh, you guys can see the rest there. Uh, Blocking-wise, let's see how we did. Deion Dawkins, not your best effort. But everyone else, you guys did great. Defense, Devin Bush led our team in tackles. I'm pretty sure he's led our team in tackles every single season. Ryan Chazier, second. Tackles for loss, if you're curious. Skylar Blant with 19. Stephon 2 with 13. Same with Richie Fenner. Cleo Mack, 12. TJ Watt, 12. Quarterback sacks on the year, Cleo Mack with 10, Richie Fenner and TJ Watt with 9, 7.5 for Ryan Chazier, 7 for Stephon Tewitt, 6.5 for Skylar Blanton, 4.5 Devin Bush, 2.5 Sutton Smith, 1.5 Eli Apple, 1 for Terrell Edmonds, and Mike Hilton, and the half for the rest of them. Interceptions on the season, 3 for Ryan Chazier, 3 for Eli Apple, 2 for Mike Hilton, and Jesse Bates. And did we have any touchdowns? That is the main question. We had one defensive touchdown from Jesse Bates. Uh, eighth in total offense. Hopefully we're good in defense. Hopefully we're like second. Thank God. Second in defensive yards. Uh, points scored first. Wow, that's surprising. And points allowed. We are third. Okay. Awards on the season. And Josh Allen. Oh my God. I hate the Bills. I hate the Bills so much. I hope they never find success. Of course, I'm kidding if you're a Bills fan. If you're, if you're a Bills fan, I hope you guys find all the success in the world. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, ninth for the Offensive Player of the Year. Did not mean to go to the NFC. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year, Ryan Shazier at second. Offensive Rookie of the Year. How did he not win it? Are you serious? He had 13 touchdowns as a rookie. <sighs> okay, Defensive Rookie of the Year, we shouldn't have. Yeah, we don't have anyone there. Best quarterback, Jacoby Brissett wins it, but he doesn't win MVP. Okay, that makes sense. Best running back, James Conner is there at number three. Best wide receiver. Really? Really? Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, best offensive lineman, Dave DeCastro, Quentin Nelson, Ali Marpet, and that's it. Best defensive lineman, no one there except for Skylar Blanton. Best linebacker, Ryan Shazier, Khalil Mack, no TJ Watt. Best defensive back, nobody there except for Eli Apple, which is surprising because it's Eli Apple. All right, here we go. Playoff time, facing the Colts and Andrew Luck, who's not even in the league right now, but... Madden hasn't updated their rosters, so he's still on the Colts, but we should still beat them because we have a really good defense, and they're a 78 overall. We're an 83. There's no reason why we should lose. Once again, we are kicking off to start 
another playoff game. Hopefully, uh, this one goes better than the one that we just played against the Bills. Well, they go down, score a touchdown right off the bat, which isn't ideal. The Colts have Steven Joskowski. Gostkowski, I think it's funny. They just get former Patriots kickers to be their kicker. Uh, all right, so tied game now. Hopefully, we can take the lead, 17-14. I like that. Can we take a, uh, can we take, take a bigger lead? And, okay, yeah, we should be good now. But, okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. We went 38-17, holding the Colts offense. 17 points, obviously. Jacoby Brissett, 366 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. Rushing-wise, James Conner, 20 for 91, one touchdown. Receiving, Eric Ebron, 92 yards. Juju, 43 yards, two TDs. James Conner with a touchdown, and Benny Snell Jr. with a touchdown. Blocking, how many sacks we give up? Only give up two sacks. Nice. And defensive-wise... One and a half sacks for both TJ Watt and Khalil Mack. And one interception by Mike Hilton. So let's go on now to the division round. And hopefully, man, I, like, like, I just want to make the Super Bowl. That's all. I just want to make the Super Bowl. Like, is that too much to ask, Madden? I don't think that that's too much to ask. I don't care about, yo, Mike Barlow with another upgrade. He's, he's probably going to get Superstar X Factor maybe in the offseason. Maybe. Division round, who I would say? Oh, my God. I swear. If we lose... To this team again, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. You guys have no idea how upset I'm going to be. Ah, here we go. Taking on the Bills once again. I said I didn't want to come back here. But you know what? We're going to come back here, or we're going to beat them by 13 points this time. You know what? We lost last time because we kicked off, and it was in the snow. So this time, we are receiving, and we're not in the snow. And I'm accidentally receiving because I didn't did super sim fast enough my dogs are shaking in the background if you hear that my apologies all right here we go let's get a kick return for a touchdown you know what hey it could be worse 29 yard line starting position okay uh didn't mean to play there but you know we're just gonna go ahead and jump forward to the end of the game please tell me we can beat this damn team three nothing ten nothing let's do e e even more of a lead i don't want that no don't go and score again, Bill. Seven. Can we score a damn touchdown? Can we score a touchdown? Can we just score it all? Like, thank you. Oh, thank you. Jeez, dude. I was about to say. Like, <laughs> it's annoying. And, okay, cool. We tie it up at 24. 31 24. 31 all. Things are getting a little interesting now. Change of possession. They, uh, oh, okay, they get a field goal to make it 34 third. No interceptions, Jacoby. No interceptions. Huge gain to James Conner for 19 yards. We are going to score a touchdown, aren't we? We're going to score a touchdown, aren't we? We should score a touchdown. Seven-yard line. Four-yard line. Is that is that a first down? Okay, okay, first and goal. I'm going to hop in here. I'm going to hop in. We're going to do this. We're going we're, we're gonna to beat the Bills. All right, I'm tired of this. We're going to beat the Bills. All we need is a field goal or better. We have all three timeouts, and I'm going to run the ball here. Why? I don't know, but I'm going to run the ball. Um, there's no one that I want. Okay, okay. We're just we're going to do it. We're going to do it and hope for the best. We're going to hope for the best. We're going to hope for oh, oh, you know what? Hey, you know what? That's good, too. That is good, too. I'm going to call a timeout. 29 seconds left. Oh, I thought I just chose a play there for a second. Um, what I like to do in the red zone when i'm this close i like calling shotgun and then running slants because slants are usually always open usually and hopefully they're open now yes they are yes there he is james barlow i think that's his name with the go ahead touchdown that's really awkward that's not his name that should be his name right james barlow i think james Bar I, I mike barlow is there james barlow anywhere i don't know we're gonna jump to the next play jump to the next play all right 23 seconds three timeouts let's not give up anything i'm gonna use her reggie but reggie bush did i i'm gonna use her devin bush <laughs> and we're gonna oh get him please get him don't let him go out of bounds and you push him out of bounds okay well i mean the thing is they need a touchdown though so i'm not too worried about these short gains because they need a touchdown and they're just gonna run hail mary now so and devin bush is gonna end up rushing or blitzing rushing blitzing same thing and he's going the outside throw it deep pick it off he caught that what oh no no this is not how this ends this is not how this game ends this game does not end with them scoring a bs touchdown no that's not happening i am not letting it happen 
Oh no, get him please. Get him please. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm like I'm like genuinely nervous right now. Set. They're going to run a Hail Mary. They're on the 20-yard line. They don't need to run a Hail Mary. Okay, you know what? It is what it is. Uh can we just please get a stop? Oh, 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 pick, 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 pick. Oh my god, he had that. Woo boy. Okay, Hail Mary time. Here we go. This is this is it. Like, this is this is our Super Bowl right here. It, oh, no, 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 no. Pick it, pick it. Let's go! Interception, game over. We're going to the AFC Championship game. I don't even know who got that pick at the end, but whoever did, I love you. Thank you so much. Who got that pick? What? <laughs> what is this play description? <laughs> what is that play description? What the heck? Uh, you know what? What a freaking game. We were down by what, 14 points? I think we were down by 14 points. End up winning. Thank goodness. And now, we get to go to the AC Championship game to face the Cleveland Browns, who we absolutely demolished in uh, the divisional round last season. And hopefully we can do the same this time. Eli Apple with a skill. But you know what? I was, I was, you know, talking bad about Eli Apple, but he's actually done pretty well for us this season and for last season. Let's go on. Take the take on the Browns. They're gonna wear their current home. We're gonna wear our current away. If you were curious, we're going to Cleveland, and hopefully we go to the Super Bowl next. We are receiving the ball to start off the AFC Championship game, and hopefully that means we're gonna do great things with it. Ooh, Cleveland got a new stadium. Okay, I see you, Cleveland. Uh, can we score? Okay, 14-7. Can we make it? Okay, okay. Can we make it 21-10? That would be. Can we make it 20? Can we make it 21-10? 17-10. Can we make it 24 to 10? What? Oh my God, 17 all. Okay, uh, 24, 17. Oh boy. 117 left. They're gonna kick it off. And here we go. This is for a trip to the Super Bowl. I don't even think the Browns have won the championship in this video yet. So, oh my God, I just got such a lot, such a lot of yards. Yep, that, yep, English. I'm gonna run a draw, and that might be a mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyway. That would, yep, yep, that was a mistake, uh, cause that happened. But it is okay. I am not extremely worried. I'm really not. Second and ten, three timeouts. Probably should have called a timeout there, to be completely honest. Uh, Mike Barlow. I'm pretty sure that's his name now. Pretty sure I got his name down. Oh, Juju, lit Juju. Oh, you juked the wrong way. Oh, I juked the wrong way, cause I'm stupid. Third and two, 43 seconds left. We're on like what, 46? 46? Yep, all right, cool. 46 yard line. Uh, let's run. I don't really know what to run. I really don't. Let's do a PA post shot. Cause when doubt, you know, uh, you know what? I'm gonna run it. This is probably so stupid. This is so stupid. I'm gonna run it anyway though. I'm gonna run, hey, that, that's a first down. That's a first down. That's gotta be a first. Lit, okay. Gonna call another timeout. And we're going to try to get into field goal range now because obviously I need to get into field goal range. But I, but we do have the wind. I just don't know how much of the wind we have. I might take a shot deep at Mike Barlow if he's like that open. But I'm going to... Oh, I got... Oh, no, that's not what's supposed to happen. Olivier Vernon with the sack. Okay. So this is like... This is... I mean, like we got to get something going here. We got to get something going. I'm going I'm to throw it, Juju. I'm going to throw it, Juju. Juju! Juju Smith-Juice! with 5-4 let's go Juju Smith Schuster let's go 61 yard touchdown to seal it he mossed him and broke the tackle and ran in for the touchdown let's go man nice okay PAT it's up and we did have the win six mile an hour wins let's go ahead kick it good and let's go ahead and kick it off to them now. And that probably should do it. Actually, I mean, like, I'm going to kick it to the back of the end zone, though, because we have six mile an hour winds, which means kick's going to go very far. And then they're going to have... Baker's going to have one shot at a Hail Mary. And hopefully it, it's not successful. <laughs> if it's successful, I'm quitting YouTube for, like, the ninth time. Just kidding. I haven't quit YouTube nine times. All right. You know what? I'm going to stop talking. Baker, you're going down, bro. You're going down, Baker. You're going down, Baker. Oh, okay. Or just throw. Oh, pick. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this one back because I have no sportsmanship. Can you get out of my way? Okay. Well, that would have been a pick six, but I was interrupted by my defensive back. We're going to the Super Bowl. Let's go. 335, four touchdowns for Jacoby Brissett. No picks. One pick. You know that's okay. 
Rushing wise, James Conner, 23 attempts, 107 yards, no touchdowns. Receiving Juju with the dagger. Uh, I just choked on my own air. That was nice. Mike Barlow, three receptions, 57 yards, one touchdown. Kendall Blanton, two receptions for two touchdowns. Uh, blocking, we gave up. Oh, wow, we gave up actually a lot of sacks. But one of those was my fault because I, like, rolled out, and that was at the end. Yeah. Uh, Defensive-wise, one pick. It was it was Eli Apple. And I love how I was just talking about Eli Apple, how I was wrong about him. But we're going to the Super Bowl. I think I saw that the Saints are in it. I'm not too sure. I really don't know who's in the Super Bowl. Maybe it'll tell me if I... Oh, lit. So, Jacoby Brissett gets an upgrade point. Okay. Uh, will it tell me if I go over to League... Cowboys and Panthers. Okay. Taylor Bennett, I don't care. Please tell me. Yo, if it's the Cowboys, like, uh, it's the Cowboys. Rematch of the 90s. Upgrade players. Ali Marpet, James Washington, Kashawn Powell. You're probably not going to play, to be completely honest. All right. Taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And it's in Dallas? Yo, we're screwed. <laughs> they have home field advantage. I would just like everyone to know that this Super Bowl was rigged. Because the Cowboys have home field advantage. So uh, we're going to jump forward to the end of the game. If we lose, I'm blaming it on that. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you that right now. If we lose, I'm blaming it on that. And no one has scored yet. We've almost gone two full quarters. No one scored a single point. There we go. First points on. Yo, this Super Bowl's a snoozer. 14 to nothing. Make that 14 to 7. I was, oh, boy. 14 all. 17, 14. 17 all. They have the ball. Oh, boy. What is it? Is it? Okay. So I'm just going to jump play by play and see what happens. I, okay. Got sacked. I'm going to hop in because I don't, I don't, I don't trust the CPU on this. Why are we going to blitz? I don't, I don't want to blitz here. I really do not want to blitz. Instead, Devin Bush is going to, you know, oh, throw it there. Oh, how did he get so open? How did he get so open? Oh my god. We're gonna lose this game now. I shouldn't have hopped in. I'm stupid. I shouldn't have ended up jumping in. Oh well, it's okay, you know. You know, like I said, I was I was gonna blame it on this anyway. I was gonna blame it on the home field advantage anyway. This is stupid. Why are the Cowboys playing in the Super Bowl in their own stadium? That's stupid. Coaching adjustments, strip ball, uh aggressive. Yes, because I want to uh let's see. Yes, aggressive. Yes, because I need to get the ball back. And we need a blitz and get the ball back. And hopefully we can just win the game. Yo, can they, like, commit holding? That'd be nice. And they're just going to get a first down. So that sucks. Um, Maybe the AI isn't smart, though. Maybe the AI is going to try to go for a touchdown. Because because sometimes they do that in overtime. Like, sometimes they'll need a touchdown. I mean, a field goal, and they'll, like, try to go for a touchdown. Nope, nope, thank you. Uh, this is gonna be all she wrote, isn't it? This is gonna be all she wrote. Chew clock. That clock's gonna go down and down and down, and I'm not liking it, man. But maybe, maybe we'll get a chance to get the ball back. Maybe. Probably. Why are they calling a timeout? Why are they calling a timeout? Yo, why? What? That makes no sense as to why they're calling them. I mean, okay. Um. Gotcha. So now we have a chance to get the ball back at least. Oh, okay. Yo, we are actually going to get the ball back here. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if we block this. Imagine if we block this field goal. There's no way we block it. I try to time it. They, uh, no, not nah, GG. Uh, okay. So we're going to have some time here to... At least tie the game up. Depends on where this kick goes. If this kick... I don't know if I want to take... Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm definitely taking it out. Okay. Kick return for a touchdown. Kick return for a touchdown. Kick return. You know what? We got... Uh, we got we got good yardage. 32-yard line. Okay. So, got to try to get to the sideline. That's pretty much what um, I'm wanting here. Dig and go. Honestly, could do that with Juju one-on-one. -on -one, but I don't like that necessarily. Uh, we're gonna go with Farley. I totally forget his name, but he's not a super. St okay, anyway, I'm stupid. Um, James Connor block. I don't know what I want to do here. Really, don't know what I want to do. Oh, just, just, just throw it. Just throw it. Okay, cool. Lit. That was just yikes. Okay. Um, 
What do, what do we need to get to for Daniel Carson? The 39-yard line? Ah, oh, jeez, that's so far. Four verts. YOLO. 13 seconds. Why does Juju have to be covered by Byron Jones? Why does that have to be a thing? Why can't he just be covered by old Sally? Oh, Juju. Got it. Juju. Got it. Juju. Got it. Yes, let's go. What was Byron Jones doing? I mean, like, he wasn't playing man, but like, yo. Okay. Okay. What a throw. What a catch. Wide open. That's like, that's like the Manning to Manningham in the Super Bowl with the Patriots. Giants Patriots. Oh my god. See, I probably should go for the field goal here, but I'm stupid, so I'm going to try to get a touchdown. I'm just, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm just going to chuck it, and I'm going to try, and there we go. Okay, you know what? I tried it. I tried it. It didn't. Imagine if that got picked, bro. Everyone was just going to roast the hell out of me. They're going to, oh my god, they're going to ice me. Imagine if, if I miss this. If I miss this, I'm never living this down never living this down and there's no kick arc either so i don't really know where this is going but hopefully it's going in the right direction hopefully it's going it's right down the middle we're going to overtime oh my god bro i thought this was over man this is insane okay Tails has never failed me, and it's Tails again. We're going to receive the ball, and we're going to win the game. This is crazy. This is actually insane. Oh, my God. We actually have a chance to win this game, which is insane because I, it wasn't looking like we really had a shot. Okay, I just need to not make any stupid mistakes. We have all the time. We just need to not be stupid with it. Come on, Mike Barlow. Let's get a kick return for a touchdown. Spin move. Oh, imagine if I imagine if I spun past him. All right, Jacoby Brissett. This is what dreams are made of right here. You have a chance to win the game right now. So let's do it. Let's win the damn game. I'm going to run the ball. And hopefully that goes well for me right now. Probably won't, but hopefully it does. Uh, I'm going to run right up the middle because we have the room there. We have the room. There we go. First down, James Conner. 21 rushes, 78 yards, and a TD. Okay. I'm playing on all Madden, by the way. I, I, is there a way for me to check that? There, there should be a way for me to check. Imagine if I was just playing on rookie this entire time. <laughs> all Madden. There we go. Just in case, you know, people. Because I played all pro that on the Titans one, and it was a little bit too easy. So we're now going with all Madden. I'm just going to keep running it until they stop me, honestly. Uh, and I'm not going for a field goal. I I want a touchdown. I'm going to keep running it until they stop me. Oh, they, okay. All right. Good job, Dave DeCastro. Good job holding your block. Great job. Empty backfield. We got Mike Farley there. We got Mike Farley. And he's going to almost get the first down. Is that Mike Farley? Or is that... I'm just... I forget the players that I draft, okay? That's... I mean, that's like really what it comes down to. I just forget the players that I draft. Uh, Is that... Who's Farley? I don't even know who the hell Farley is. Oh, it's Jordan Farley. Never mind. All right, James Conner, you're going to run it, and you're going to get the first down. You're going to get the first down. James Conner, he's going to get a lot more. He's going to get a juke, and he's going to get down to the 41 yard line. Let's go. All right. Oh, boy. I just, I really, really need a touchdown because I don't want them to get a touchdown. Like, I don't want me to get a field goal, and then they get a touchdown, and then, like, that's the game. That would be just a trash. Oh, James Conner. Fighting for the first down. James Conner is going to carry us to this victory here in overtime. 24 rushes, 98 yards, 6 yards after contact. I'm still running the ball. I know I passed it, you know, that one time, but I'm still going to run it. I have no reason to pass it. Keep on wasting clock, and hopefully things will be all right. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! James Conner, no! Oh, my God. Why? Why does this have to happen? I hate my life. All right, Devin Bush. Let's get an interception. Or let's get a tackle. There we go. Just... Oh, football! Let's go! woo -hoo! Let's go! Oh, my God! What just happened? Oh my god, TJ Watt wins Super Bowl MVP. TJ Watt wins Super Bowl MVP. I don't care. He wins Super Bowl MVP. I'm going to run it so I can center it 
and then and then we're gonna we're gonna just uh be fine we're gonna be fine oh wait what oh uh okay jacoby uh okay i'm gonna go over to coach adjustments and ball carrier we're gonna uh be conservative with this <laughs> and blocking we're also gonna be conservative because i don't want any holding actually i don't really care if we have holding to be completely honest i don't care if we hold at this point there's holding on on every play in the nfl you know who really cares all right james connor you're gonna center this up and we're gonna win the game okay just dive or, or just or just keep i'm so nervous every single time he runs the vlogs i don't want him to fun to fumble all right we're doing it now we're doing it we're kicking this field goal and we're going home literally right down the middle right hmm, why did they have if i miss this if i miss this i'm gonna be so upset i'm gonna be so upset if i miss this huh <sighs> i don't want this game to go on any longer it is right down the middle all i have to do is just not mess this up. That's all I have to do. Kick is up. Kick is up, and it is good. The Pittsburgh Steelers are your Super Bowl champions. Seven, seven times Super Bowl champs, man. Wow, what a Super Bowl. That was, imagine if that happened. Um, tw I, think, I think Twitter would actually break, honestly. I think Twitter would break if what just happened happened in real life, honestly. Wow. I just can't even believe that ending. That's just insane. Dak, uh, you hate to see it, Dak. You really do. Get him next year. Get him next year, bud. I just want to know who the Super Bowl MVP is. It should be TJ Watt because he stripped Zeke. It should be TJ Watt. Or it could be our kicker because, I mean, he kicked two field goals to freaking win the game. Yeah, I definitely thought it was over after, uh, <laughs> after they kicked that field goal. <laughs> definitely thought it was over. James Conner, man, you almost ruined it for us. Not gonna lie. Almost did. But you know what? It is okay. It is okay. Because, you know, we're Super Bowl champions now. No one cares that you fumbled. No one's gonna remember that he fumbled. Juju with the catch of his life. And TJ Watt is your Super Bowl MVP. Six tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble. Man, that's nice. Let's go, man. I thought for sure we were going to lose. And it and it looked like we, we had, like, what, what 20-something seconds left to get a field goal? And there it is. Jacoby Brissett, Juju, James Conner, and Devin Bush all up there on the podium holding that Lombardi with Mike Tomlin. And that's going to do it. What a game. What a what an end to this video, man. What an end to the video. I know I keep repeating myself, but I don't even know what to say at this point. That was that that was just insane. Jacoby Brissett. 25 for 39, 321, one touchdown, no picks. Dak 20 for 28, 71. Not sure why I'm saying 71. A uh, 258, two touchdowns, no picks. Zeke had 140 yards. James Conner had 106. James Carter had a touchdown. They both had a fumble. Of course they did. Uh, Receiving-wise, Jordan Farley, nine receptions, 103, one touchdown. Juju, five for 93. Mike Barlow, four for 43. Zeke had a touchdown. Richie James Jr. had a... Uh, I mean, if, if that really matters. Blocking-wise, I'll just look at my team now. James Conner and David Castro both gave up a sack. Defensive-wise, total tackles. TJ Watt led us there. With the sacks, TJ Watt and Skylar Blanton both with two. No interceptions, but pass to I don't know why I'm going to pass deflections. TJ Watt with the biggest forced fumble of his entire career. And that's going to do it for the video. What a game, bro. Man, I can't wait to edit this, bro. This is going to be so fun to watch back. Man, what a team. What a team. What an effort. What a game. What a everything. If you guys don't like that, you don't like NFL football get it because that's like what the kings do when they say like you don't like that you don't like nba okay and anyway and you can like barely see it but there's another super bowl there wait wait no tomlin already has two super bowl rings <laughs> never mind <laughs> all right this is what the final team ended up you know i'm glad i went on to a fourth year man jacoby Brissett, james connor juju smith schuster james washington james farley mike barlow eric ebron david castro oh i'm gonna say that is um Maxwell Johnson. I was going to say Mike. <laughs> Maxwell Johnson, Quentin Nelson, Ali Marpet, Deion Dawkins. On the defensive side of things, this is honestly where a lot of our success is credited to. Stefan Tuitt, 
Sheldon Blanton. It's not Sheldon. It's Skyler. I literally just said his name like two minutes ago. Skyler Blanton, Richie Fenner, Mike Hilton, Jesse Bates the third, TJ Watt, Ryan Shazier, Devin Bush, Khalil Mack, Tremon Edmonds, Tremon, Terrell, Tremon, <sighs> Terrell Edmonds, and Eli Apple, who actually played really well for us, which is surprising. <laughs> Shout out Eli Apple. And then the special teams, because kickers are people too. Dan Carlson, Dan Carlson, Daniel Carr, eh, Dan, Daniel, same thing. And then this dude, Care Vedvik. Isn't he like, didn't he get traded to the Vikings? I, who cares? That's going to do it for me, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section what team to do next. And I'll see you guys all next time.